When you stop eating, something quiet begins long before you notice anything on the outside. Your brain, used to a steady drip of glucose, pauses for a moment, as if listening for a signal that never comes. There's no alarm, no threat, just a strange calm settling through your system, the kind of silence that feels older than thought. Your blood sugar dips gently. Your cells whisper their first questions, and deep inside, an ancient program flickers back to life. Modern life rarely lets you feel this transition, but your biology recognizes it instantly. This isn't deprivation; it's the first step into a rhythm your body was designed to follow. And as the hours unfold. The mind begins revealing what truly happens when you enter a 24-hour fast. As the first hours pass, your brain begins shifting into a different operating mode. With glucose drifting lower, it quietly reduces non-essential functions and sharpens the ones tied to awareness and focus. This isn't stress; it's evolution. Early humans needed heightened senses when food was scarce, and that same instinct still lives in you. A mild rise in adrenaline clears mental fog, making everything feel slightly sharper, slightly more awake. Many people mistake this early alertness for anxiety, but it's your biology preparing you to adapt. Your body still assumes food will arrive, yet your brain is already recalibrating. Conserving energy while boosting attention—it's the first subtle sign that a 24-hour fast doesn't weaken the mind. It primes it. By the third or fourth hour, a familiar tug appears. Not because you're low on fuel, but because your brain expects a routine you didn't follow. This is false hunger—a signal shaped by habit, not survival. Your hypothalamus lights up. Pushing out neuropeptide Y, nudging you to eat simply because you usually would. The discomfort can feel real, even urgent, but it fades quickly if you don't respond. Your body has more than enough stored energy. It's your patterns that protest. Once you sit through this wave, something shifts. Cravings quiet. Your mind steadies, and your body realizes you are not in danger. This moment is a small psychological threshold in a 24-hour fast, but crossing it opens the door to everything that comes next. As you move into the fifth through eighth hour, your body reaches a quiet crossroads. Glycogen, the quick access fuel stored in your liver, begins to thin, not empty, not depleted, just low enough for your metabolism to pause and reassess. This is where metabolic flexibility takes shape. Your liver releases its remaining glucose with measured precision, steadying your brain while preparing for the next phase. You may feel a mild dip in energy or a brief chill, small signs that your internal engine is adjusting. Beneath the surface, your body is choosing whether to continue relying on familiar fuel. Or switch to the deeper reserves you carry everywhere. This transition marks the opening move of a 24-hour fast, the moment your system stops waiting for food and starts adapting. Between the eighth and twelfth hour, the shift becomes unmistakable. With glycogen running low, your body unlocks the vault it guards most tightly: stored fat. Lipolysis begins, breaking triglycerides into fatty acid that flow into your bloodstream like slow, steady fuel. Your liver receives them and transforms those fatty acids into ketone bodies, a cleaner, more efficient energy source. Your brain absorbs eagerly once the switch is complete. This is the first major turning point in a 24-hour fast, when your body stops depending on incoming calories and taps into the reserves built for survival. Many people notice a gentle lightness forming during this window, a sign that the metabolic gears have shifted 
and a more ancient energy system has quietly awakened. By the twelfth hour, you enter one of the most important phases of the entire process. Insulin has dropped into a calm, steady rhythm, and ketones begin rising with purpose. Instead of the sharp ups and downs that come from glucose, ketones deliver a smooth, consistent stream of energy that your brain responds to almost instantly. Thoughts feel clearer. Your mood steadies. The internal noise softens. This is also where early signs of autophagy begin. Your body's built-in cleanup system quietly identifying damaged proteins and preparing to recycle them. Many people describe this stage of a 24-hour fast as the moment things click, when the body stops resisting and starts cooperating. It's not a burst of energy; it's a deeper, more grounded stability, the kind you notice not in your muscles, but behind your eyes. Around the 16th hour, the clarity deepens into something richer. With ketones now the primary fuel, your brain becomes noticeably quieter, not empty, but organized. Dopamine and serotonin settle into a balanced pattern, giving your thoughts a cleaner edge and your emotions a calmer tone. Autophagy ramps up, clearing cellular clutter that has been accumulating unnoticed for months. Many people say this window feels almost meditative, as if the mind finally has room to breathe. Distractions lose their grip. Focus feels effortless. Even time seems to slow down just enough for you to catch up with yourself. This phase of a 24-hour fast is where the experience shifts from metabolic to mental. It isn't about willpower anymore. It's about discovering how sharp, steady, and present your mind becomes when you stop feeding it constant stimulation and let it run on something cleaner. As you move into the twentieth hour, the fast begins touching a different layer of your biology, your emotional circuitry. With your mind calmer and your energy stable, oxytocin starts to rise, just enough. To soften the edges of your awareness, you don't feel emotional. You feel open, more connected to yourself and the world around you. Early humans relied on this response during scarcity, because cooperation increased the odds of survival. Today, it shows up as a gentle quieting inside your chest, a moment where your thoughts feel kinder and your inner dialogue less chaotic. This is the part of a 24-hour fast that surprises people most. It doesn't just sharpen the mind; it softens the heart. Approaching the 24th hour, your body taps into its deepest programming. Longevity pathways such as SIRT1 activate. Mitochondria become more efficient, and antioxidant defenses inside your brain begin to strengthen. None of this feels dramatic. It feels natural, almost familiar, as if your biology recognizes what's happening. Many people describe this window as a second wind, not intense or stimulating, but steady and grounded. It's a reminder that fasting isn't new to the human body; it's one of its oldest rhythms. This final stretch of a 24-hour fast is where everything comes together. Clarity. Calmness, steadiness, and a surprising sense of alignment. Your body isn't struggling; it's remembering. When the first bite finally arrives at the end of your 24-hour fast, your body responds with remarkable precision. Glucose returns like a warm current. Insulin rises to guide it, and your brain instantly recognizes the shift. But after running on ketones, this new fuel doesn't feel ordinary. It feels vivid. The gut-brain axis lights up, sending signals of reward and relief throughout your system. Flavors seem richer, scents sharper, and even small sounds feel more defined. Your digestive system wakes gently, not in urgency but in gratitude, 
And for a moment, eating doesn't feel automatic. It feels intentional, like reconnecting with a sense you forgot you had. By the end of this journey, the real transformation reveals itself. You didn't just abstain from food. You stepped into a rhythm your body still remembers. Your mind found clarity. Your cells repaired quietly. And your emotions settled into balance. But the most meaningful change isn't biological. It's awareness. You learn the difference between hunger and habit, between noise and focus, between constant consumption and genuine presence. A 24-hour fast isn't about shrinking the body. It's about expanding your understanding of it. It's a reminder that beneath routines and cravings, your biology holds a deeper wisdom. And when you give it space, even for a day, it doesn't just reset. It reintroduces you to yourself. 